Dr. Budok, what is the TFC? The TFC, or the triangular fibrocartilage, sometimes called the TFCC, is a very complicated structure. It's on the pinky side of the wrist. Uh, it has really two parts. One is a ligament that controls this joint and keeps it stable. This is a distal radio ulnar joint. It's involved in rotating the forearm. Uh, also provides uh, stability when you grip and put power across your wrist. And then there's another part of the TFC, sort of like a meniscus for the knee, where when you make a fist or load your wrist, it takes part of the, uh, the forces. So we call this ulnar deviation. And you know, life is ulnar deviated, it's, you know, swinging a hammer, power grip, opening a door, shaking hands, throwing a dart. This is sort of the power position of the wrist. So everything we do with any power or direction when you're moving the wrist is often goes into ulnar deviation. So that structure takes on quite a lot of stress. How does the TFC get injured? It can be injured for a variety of reasons. If you fall, you can injure your TFC. You can break your wrist, you know, the, the radius bone, and then a lot of times after it's treated, most of the pain's on the other side called the ulnar side of the wrist, and that's often from the TFC. Uh, it can be damaged from repetitive use. People that do a lot of uh, lifting or gripping, again, they load the ulnar side of the wrist, and that force goes through the TFC, the meniscal part to that, and that can bother it. There are a lot of ways you can get injured. What happens when the TFC is injured? When it gets injured, it hurts, and it hurts on the ulnar side of the wrist. You know, the ulnar side of the wrist is kind of like Manhattan. There's a lot of things in a very small area. So you need to evaluate a lot of structures in that area. But basically, when the TFC is injured, if it's the meniscal part, whenever you ulnar deviate, especially with gripping, it hurts and that leads to weakness and inability to continue to do a lot of activities you want to do. Uh, if the ligaments for the distal radial ulnar joint are unstable when you rotate your hand or your wrist, it'll get painful. Um, a lot of times this bone, the ulna, becomes prominent. Uh, right now it's held in position, but if I cut my TFC, it would drift up a little bit, and that is obvious. Sometimes it can be a clicking and it just gets very uncomfortable. How do I know if I have a TFC injury? Yeah, as opposed to a lot of the other structures uh, that we've covered on these videos where the diagnosis is fairly straightforward, the TFC definitely is not a straightforward diagnosis. And a lot of orthopedic and a lot of hand surgeons have trouble making this diagnosis. Um, Basically, if you rotate your form and it hurts a lot, you might have a TFC injury. Again, there's a lot of other structures in the area that have to be looked at. Um, if the distal ulna drifts up, then you have a TFC tear. Uh, but you, you need to find a good hand and wrist subspecialist, somebody fellowship trained um, that you trust to evaluate you and see if the TFC is torn. Uh, or injured. Now, MRIs are not very good for this, and you, you can't just get an MRI because it, it, it misses it. I mean, MRI is great for certain things, and it's really not good for other things. This is one of the things where it's really not good for. Um, even if you put dye in the wrist and then do the MRI, it can miss a lot of tears. One of the things to look for in MRI, and not a lot of Surgeons know this, you want to not even look at the TFC, you want to look at the bones, the radius and the ulna. And if the ulna is shifted over like one sixth of the way out of where it's supposed to be, um, then that's actually more accurate to diagnose a TFC tear than looking at the TFC on the MRI. Um, so that's a tip. Um, but even if it's not torn, it can still be causing a lot of pain and problems. What happens if you don't treat a TFC injury? If you don't treat the TFC injury, you got what you got. You know, uh, it doesn't kill you, paralyze you, shorten your life, cause cancer, or anything like that, but it can be uh, painful. It can be difficult to do a push-up or put weight on the extended wrist. It can be tough to rotate your forearm with any force. 
uh, such as opening up a door or turning things. It can be difficult to uh, hammer or do anything that involves power. You can feel weak, you can feel the bone shift sometimes. So you got what you got. Uh, I think we'll probably cover treatment on a separate video because that's a little bit extensive too. But uh, thanks for listening. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Budon. Thank you.